Right, so that finishes the key in. Uh, I put an extra one mil shim in. I'm just taking a bit more off. So they should go together now, perfectly. Now with these, next job is to split them apart. But once I split them apart, I need to number them because they need to go on the right axle. Now that they're split, I need to stamp them so that I, I know that these are the inside. This is a pair and that's the inside. Stamp number one and two, which means that they go on axle that has the one and the two on. So you can just see the one and the two there, if you can see that. So this is the rear axle, and just there it is numbered two. So as long as I have the numbers on the inside, because they've been split apart that way, and then I've numbered them, so as long as number one goes on here, and number two goes on that side, the keys that have been cutting the end of the axles which are 90 degrees apart, these should sit 90 degrees apart, theoretically. So these are done. Now I've just given them a quick clean around the edges and I've broken the corners so that when they get painted, it's not a sharp 90 degree corner so the paint will adhere to the corners. Now, I don't know if you remember, but before Christmas, I released a video and it was about boring out some holes on some uh, valve gear, cleaning off the black on those was a nightmare, absolute horror. Using WD-40 and some emery, took me forever. And I really wanna get the black off these. Now one of you fabulous viewers has given me a suggestion, and that suggestion was to use brick acid. Yes, brick acid. So we're gonna give it a whirl. And the one in question is this one, Bostic. I picked it up from tool station. We're just gonna chuck some in a tub. The viewer has suggested around 20 minutes and then give it a wash with some soapy water afterwards to get the acid off. And uh, the black should be gone. So we shall give it a try. Corrosive, contains acid. So please be very careful if you are going to use it. Now I've just put a, a nut in one end to elevate them so that the liquid goes underneath. There's a definite colour change to the water, well the acid. I've given that one a quick little bit of a scrub and it's coming up already. Now there is a definite colour change, so it's been about half an hour, 40 minutes, so I'll dig one of these out and I'll wash it. So there we go, that's the black hole removed. And that's the untreated. So I'm going to chuck them into the fluid, get them done. And I can start work on these. So this here is my vulcanizing press, which obviously it heats up. And it's currently set to about 150 degrees. So I'm going to stick these in here, let them heat up to 150 degrees and hopefully that will help us uh, get the pins in. So, we can only try. They're in there now, sandwiched. The plates are up to 100, 100 degrees. So, we'll let it get to 150. Let the heat get in the cranks and then we'll uh, see if that helps us push the pins in. These are hot. Gone in a little bit. There we go. That is in. Whew. 
us in. Oh my god, that's hot. Number two. Make sure it's the right way around. See, they're going in. It's just catching on the uh, thread, I think. Heavy. Oh, so hot. So hot. You've got to admit, this does look damn nice. So close to having it the right way around. Come on. <laughs> now I have split the connecting rods and I have put one on this side and one on the other side so I can get all the pieces bolted on that keep the bearings in place 
and the right distance apart because there is still quite a bit of playing. So I'll put one on this side and I'll put one on the other side. And yes, if I turn this, it rolls really nicely. That is just beautiful. There's still lots to do, but that's just magical. Just magical. I'll see you in the next one. Laters. Oh, just, 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 wow.